Thank you so much, Tim, and good afternoon. Thank you so much for the kind introduction. You know, I've had a lot of introductions, and uh, having grown up in politics, I've seen a lot of different people introduced, and I'll never forget one time when I was a kid and I went to an event with my dad, and the man went up to introduce him and said, I've been told this man needs no introduction. And that's a good thing because I've never heard of him. So we're already off to a much better start than that. I want to say a huge thank you to Senator Bozeman, Senator Cotton, and Congressman Womack, and Mayor McGill for their unbelievable leadership in bringing us to the point that we are. All of the people on this stage and in this room have worked in a culmination of their efforts, have made today the exciting moment that it is. We could not and would not be here without their leadership and their steadfast support for this program. I can't express how excited I am for today's event. Probably more than a lot of Arkansas governors, I've had the chance to travel around the world interacting with our military on a daily basis during the time that I served at the White House. And I got to see the unbelievable men and women who make up our armed forces. I got to see how steadfast and just how incredible our airmen are. However, as great as all of the people that I interacted with as I traveled around the world, I know that the very best to represent our country are right here at home in Arkansas. Arkansas has long been the training ground for some of America's very best pilots and air personnel. And today, we are taking that global. Soon, Ebbing Air National Base will be home to 36 state-of-the-art aircraft and 1,200 new base staff. We'll host airmen from as far away as Europe and Singapore. As governor, I'd like to be the very first to extend our welcome to those who will soon call Arkansas home. I'm probably a little bit biased in this, but I believe that our rich heritage, our natural beauty, and the most important asset that Arkansas has are kind and generous people make us the very best state anywhere in the country. May we, we might even teach some of these out-of-towners how to call the hogs. I think we're pretty good at that here, too. The federal dollars that have been spent on construction and personnel will cascade into as much as a billion dollars in economic impact. For the Fort Smith area, the River Valley, and our entire state, this is monumental. What's truly astonishing about this project is its speed and seamlessness through which it came into being. The fastest environmental impact study in the Air Force history. Rapid financial help from the state, from the county, and the city. Zero negative comments in the public comment period. And as somebody who's been a part of a lot of public comments, it's pretty spectacular <laughs> that you can have anything with zero negative comments. This project looks simple on the surface because of the way that it has been executed from the incredible people in this room. But it required a mountain of work behind the scenes from local, state, and our federal leaders. The chamber and the city had to sell this idea to the Fort Smith community. Our congressional delegation had to flex its muscle on Capitol Hill, and the state had to be a willing partner throughout. I can't thank the team here enough for their leadership and for their work on this project. This will be a generational impact on our state, and it puts Fort Smith right at the center of America's global defense infrastructure. We are so proud of what is being accomplished here today, and we cannot wait to continue this. Congratulations to the city, to our airmen, and to Arkansas. Thank you so much to the men and women who serve and make Arkansas look so good, not just here, but around the world. Thank you so much, and God bless.